Guarding your eyes, as well as your hands and your mouth, can slow spread the coronavirus. Here's why the eyes are so important in the coronavirus disease outbreak, and five ways that you can help. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Joanna Slusky. I'm an integrative optometrist, contact lens specialist, and a dry eye expert uh, at Halstead Eye Boutique in Chicago. So can coronavirus spread to the eyes? Yes, yes it can. Um, it causes mild to severe respiratory illness. Symptoms such as fever, cough, shortness of breath can show up two to 14 days after the person has been exposed. So people with severe infections can develop pneumonia and then die from the complications of the illness. Now, limiting eye exposure can help, and here's why. When a sick person coughs or talks, virus particles will spray from their mouth and nose into another person's face. So you're most likely to inhale these droplets through your mouth or your nose, but they can also enter through your eyes. That mucosal membrane is vulnerable. So patients who have coronavirus can also spread the illness through their tears. So touching somebody else's face, um, the surface where the tears have fallen could be another portal of infection. Um, you can also become infected by touching something that has the virus on it, like a table or a doorknob, um, and then touching your eyes. Now, coronavirus can cause pink eye. Yes, yes it can. However, it is very rare. So if someone you know has pink eye, please don't panic. Um, it doesn't mean that the person is infected with coronavirus. That's number one. Number two, health officials believe that viral pink eye or conjunctivitis develops only in about one to 3% of people with coronavirus. So the virus can spread by touching the discharge from infected patients' eyes. Now, how can you help yourself and others? It's important to remember that although there is a lot of concern about coronavirus, common sense precautions can significantly reduce the risk of getting infected. So first of all, please wash your hands, wash them a lot, wash them frequently, and follow a good contact lens hygiene and avoid touching and rubbing your nose and your mouth and especially your eyes. So number one, if you wear contact lenses, switch to glasses for a while. Contact lens wearers touch their eyes more than an average person. So consider wearing glasses more often, especially if you tend to touch your eyes a lot when your contact lenses are in. Um, and by the way, I can help with that if they're bothering you. Uh, substituting glasses for lenses can decrease the irritation and force you to pause before touching your eye. Um, if you do continue to wear contact lenses, follow um, hygiene tips that I will describe in another video uh, to limit your chances of infection. Um, but number one, put on your glasses. And number two, yes, you should be in a one day lens so at least you wouldn't be reusing that product. But again, we'll talk about that in a little bit in another video. So number two, wearing glasses may add an extra layer of protection. So protection. So whether the eyewear or sunglasses uh, or blue light glasses that you're wearing, um, all of those would shield the eyes uh, from the infected respiratory droplets. Uh, but they don't provide 100% security. 100 security. Uh, the virus can still reach your eyes from the exposed sides, tops, bottoms uh, of the glasses. So if you're caring for a sick patient um, or potentially exposed to a sick person, um, safety goggles may offer a stronger defense. Now, number three, don't skip your eye exam, but pretty please take precautions. Um, if you're due for your eye exam, you may be nervous about going to the doctor's office. Um, optometrists, ophthalmologists, we sit face to face with many patients every single day. That's correct. Uh, during the slit lamp exam, um, our face will be just a few inches away from, from yours. Uh, but rest assured, we follow a strict hygiene and disinfection guideline. Uh, you might notice some changes during your regular eye exam. So I may place a special plastic barrier. Uh, we already have it installed um, right there in between. Uh, your face and my face, this basically blocks the exchange of breath. Uh, between you and I. Number two, I may, I always wear glasses, but I may wear a mask um, over as a shield. I haven't had to do that quite yet, but you know, I might do that. I recommend the following precautions. If you do have a cough or fever, it's essential to call your doctor's office ahead of time and please let us know, let them know. If your visit is not an emergency, uh, we may ask you to stay home. Uh, if you arrive sick, I may ask you to wear protective covering or a mask and wait in a, one of the rooms so that we don't expose, expose you to other patients. Um, we may wait um, until after the slit lamp exam to talk to you and answer additional questions. Um, and if you anticipate to cough or sneeze during the exam, please move 
back from the microscope, go over your face with a tissue, wash your hands with soap and water um, as soon as you can. Uh, number four, stock up on eye medications, eye prescriptions, any medications that you can so that you don't have to, uh, you know, get through the massive crowds that are sadly aligning these days. Uh, and you, if you do have to be quarantined, you have everything at home and you can just stay home and relax and take care of yourself. Um, now, this may not be possible for anyone if your insurance doesn't allow you to get more than one month of essential eye medicine, uh, such as glaucoma drops, um, you should, first of all, let us know. We always have samples. Um, if there's any other drop or medication that we are recommending and it's a must that you use it, um, again, let us know. We can always help. Um, some insurers will, by the way, approve a three-month supply of a medication in times of natural disaster. Uh, so if you ask the pharmacist or your optometrist or your ophthalmologist to help with that, um, we can you know, potentially uh, get an approval from the insurance and help you. Um, and again, as always, request the refill as soon as you're due. Don't wait because that slows things down in the pharmacy and may uh, delay you obtaining it. Number five, please avoid rubbing your eyes. We all do it. Uh, while it can be hard to break that natural habit, doing so will lower your risk of infection. So if you feel the urge to itch or rub or, you know, do something to your eyes or even adjust your glasses, use a tissue instead of your fingers, wash your hands, wash, wash, wash your hands. Uh, dry eyes can lead to more rubbing. So consider uh, using a preservative free artificial tear, single use vials um, in order to refresh them. But again, please make sure your hands are clean prior to touching anything. Um, anyone with dry eye, what I normally recommend is also hydrating a ton. So you should be drinking half of your body weight or more. If you drink caffeine, lower that. If you drink alcohol, lower, uh, lower that as well and compensate for those caffeinated alcoholic drinks with additional hydration. Um, if you must touch your eyes for any reason, even to administer eye drops, again, just wash your hands first with soap and water and it must be at least 20 seconds. Now, don't forget, CDC, so Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, um, offers general guidelines for preventing the spread of coronavirus and protecting your health. So number one, wash your hands, often with soap and water, and for at least 20 seconds. If you're wearing longer sleeves, make sure you tuck them up and that the water is running down your hands away from you. Uh, you should especially wash your hands before eating, after using the restroom, sneezing, coughing, blowing your nose. Obvious, but I just wanted to mention it. If you uh, can't get to a sink, use a hand sanitizer uh, that has at least 60% alcohol. Avoid touching your face, particularly with your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. If you cough or sneeze, cover your face uh, with your elbow uh, or a tissue. Uh, and if you do use a tissue, throw that away right away and go wash your hands again, 20 seconds. Um, avoid close contact with sick people. If you think someone has a respiratory infection, safest thing to, to stay away six feet away. Stay at home if you are sick, please. Um, regularly disinfect all the commonly touched areas, including your phone, uh, keyboard, all of that, um, your, and in your house, doorknobs, countertops. And if I can help answer any other questions related to eyes, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, Dr. Joanna Slusky, Halstead Eye Boutique, and I look forward to um, us, all of us staying healthy and seeing you soon.